geothermal heating and cooling. I want to speak to you a little bit about why we love geothermal, how it works, and uh, showing some examples of homes we built. Well, today we're in this community called Olivet. Geothermal is required in this community for all homes built. We've been doing geothermal in homes for about the last 12 years. I've personally lived in two homes that had geothermal and it's been fantastic. So the benefits of geothermal and why we are a huge advocate of it. Super energy efficient. You're using the earth to heat and cool your house. So you have no outdoor condenser unit. So let's just say here in Asheville that it'll get in temperatures in the 30s, sometimes in the 20s. And you're not taking that ambient temperature, like let's say 28, and trying to heat it up to 70 in your house. The earth is consistent 55 degrees. So in this community, a lot of what we do is well drilling. And that's just, just like you would do for water, but we're drilling down to put the loops down into the earth. That's a consistent 55 degrees. Other ways of doing this is we can, if we've got the room, we can come and just do four foot lines out through there. That's how we've done it in the past. But now mostly we're doing it as well drilling. It takes up less area, we can do it in tight spots. But with the earth being 55 degrees consistent, going back to my example, you're now heating that up from 55 up to 70 as opposed to outdoor temperature being 30. So you can see the efficiency in and of itself is easily can figure out. Summertime, very low um, usage on power and that. The second thing and what Olivet was big fans of and part of the reason why they were acquiring in this community is there's no noise, no outside condenser unit coming on. Um, my neighbor to my where I live has a unit and as soon as it clicks on, I can hear it. It's so loud if I'm outside, it has a big roar. And also that unit is oversized because it comes on and turns off and comes back on very, very, very often. So that's a system of our mechanical, just oversizing. We're getting better at that by doing some manual J's. That's for another video though. So a system should be running for a consistent amount of time so it can help dehumidify your house and ramp up as a variable speed and come back down. But the beautiful thing with geothermal, no outside unit making noise, but also there's no maintenance of that going outside. So everything's self-contained inside your house, the whole entire unit, and you just have the loop system that goes out. So again, it's a little bit about geothermal. If you got any questions, wanna hear about our experiences, or even talk to some of our homeowners that have it, please let us know.